what i was interested in was in um, in understanding sdg 7 and its operational dynamics in the context of cities i picked up clean energy as the entry point i wanted to understand and examine clean energy transition in the city context but from three points of view uh, from the point of view of delivering development from the point of view of of responding to the climate challenges and from the point of view of uh, uh, ensuring that uh, energy access as a key input for human activity is secured. The research was planned uh, in three different ways. We we did surveys to understand what's happening with clean cooking fuel access in low-income settlements. We tried to understand what is happening with the governance, regulatory and institutional framework for integrating more of uh, renewable electricity into the grid. And we wanted to understand the uh, renewable energy entrepreneurship landscape, particularly from the context of how much it is supporting uh, development of renewable energy and its integration into various dimensions of economic development processes. One of the key outcomes from my work is that we need to first understand that urban is massively heterogeneous and the policy response to this heterogeneity has to be not a singular response, but very different, very um, responsive to the needs and also uh, of such a kind that it's like dynamic and response to uh, these dynamic processes that are changing on a day-to-day -day basis on the ground. The second important conclusion from my work is that a lot of these and a clean energy transition has been examined to or viewed as a technical transition, which is uh, completely disregarding an important dimension, which is the social dimension. So we did some work and brought the social and technical dimension of transition together. A lot needs to be still done. But unless we figure out the socio-technical linked dimension that kind of underpins the energy transition story in cities, we'll, be not, we'll not be able to deliver the desired level of outcomes that we have envisaged.